Head over to miniaturemarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices and you can sign up for product alerts. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Here's another video in the series of, hey, Rediscovered Treasures, the best games I forgot I loved. Now, this is a series of going back to older games that I hadn't played a long time, and when I was done playing, I went, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I loved that game and rediscovering treasures that were on my shelf. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Top That. This is sort of a speed game uh, that has some very interesting components and elements and ways of solving puzzles. Let me give you a quick two minute overview of how this game works. In top that, you're trying to be the first player to finish the puzzle. Every player has its own set of plastic, and when a card comes out, you're trying to make the solution of the puzzle by using the pieces that are in color that you have to be able to see, and the ones in gray that have to be hidden. But the cool thing is you actually can have multiple solutions. Here, we have these people that have raced together or trying to do as fast as they can. They both are valid, but whoever got it done first and can fulfill the card wins it. And it's always, can you see it 100% from the side? You can see all the things that are not great on that card, 100%, and then both of them would have won whoever got it first. The winner would get this card in front of them for a point, and you play to a predetermined amount of points or until the deck is empty. Some of the cards have stars on them, and it's an advanced variant where you can play, and it means that nothing can be hidden inside of that. Now, I like this game because, well, I love speed games generally. It's like the only types of games that I'm actually any good at. Uh, the, the game has great table presence. You have the big top hat and the bunny and all these, all these different things, the coins. and It's three-dimensional when you walk by, it looks great on the table. And it is absolutely a fun, quick speed game. I mean, the game takes 10 to 15 minutes to play. You can play it over and over. It's a ton of fun. The tactile feel of the pieces is fun too. When you're picking up things and putting them in different ways. Does the hat go up? Does the hat go down? You put this in here, you put that in there. And just the, the feel of the game just makes it fun for a tabletop experience. This game is fun for both kids and adults. I've played this game with kids and they love it. And I've played this game either the first game of the night or when we're all tired and our brains are burnt playing this the last game of the night with just adult gamers. And we've all had fun with it with different groups. And I like that you could, you know, even if you're experienced, you could play it with kids and there's ways that you could sort of balance it out to make it so that the kids have a little bit more even uh, possibility of winning uh, against you. I like that there's a puzzly aspect of each card where you're looking at it, you're looking at the colors of them, are they gray, are they not? You're looking at how they go and you're trying to figure that puzzle out every time. And one of the things, like, probably the best thing about this game is that these cards, I'm not sure if everyone does, but I know that many of them have multiple solutions where you look at the card in order to get this puzzle finished, you've got to complete a certain thing as you saw in the overview. But someone might do it one way that satisfies that card. I might do it a different way just because of the way that the, again, the three dimensional aspects of the components in this game make it very different in that way. So it's really fun that you can see different solutions to the same problem. And I always try to parallel board games with life and what can you learn with this that will help you in life. And hey, there's more than one way to solve a problem. And this game teaches that and I love that. Uh, and again, on the negative side of things, you know, the more experienced player will win it first. But as I mentioned earlier, when you're playing with kids, you can give certain people a head start, if you will, to kind of balance that thing out. And, you know, sometimes just speed games aren't for everyone. People just, some people just don't like being under the gun. Some people just aren't fast. They don't enjoy the pressure or the stress of speed games. If you don't like games with timers and speed and things like that, this game isn't going to make you like those types of games. But if you're inclined to like them, this is just a very different one that I, I, I liked so much that it's on this video highlighting it again. This has been the Game Boy Geek, breaking down barriers, growing relationships through board games by helping you find the next one you love.